Okay, quickly, let's talk about it, man. CP3 to the Suns. Uh, you know, that's a great move for the Suns. Uh, it's good for CP3. I think that will be his legacy, uh, you know, building younger guys and, you know, being the best point guard of his era. But yeah, he's going to help Devin Booker. He's really going to help uh, DeAndre Ayton. They will be a playoff team. I could see them as a seven seed. I could see that. Uh, given how the Suns ended their year, uh, their, their season in the bubble. So, uh, I think it's, it's a very, very good trade. Uh, on OKC's part, clearly they're, they're in full rebuild mode now. So, you know what? Good for them. Uh, they, well, they got a bunch of picks. They got like 17 first round picks or something crazy number. So, no excuses. You got to find the next uh, Kevin Durant, James Harden, and Russell Westbrook now. Because you lost all of them. You didn't get the job done and win championship with them. So now Sam Presti, you got to do it all over again and make it work this time. I don't, I don't know what's going to happen. But yeah, basically the pressure won't be on Sam Presti for a couple of years now. Uh, but good job facilitating the trade. Uh, he, you know, he's, he's pretty good at facilitating trades. I'll say that. So we'll see now if he can draft the right guys and get the job done in OKC. But yeah, man, give me your thoughts about this. Uh, do you think that the Suns are now a playoff team? And if so, where would you put them in terms of playoff seeding? Uh, what do you think about OKC now with all their picks? Do you think they can uh, find some way to get the talent that they had uh, accumulated, uh, you know, basically a decade ago? Uh, do you think they could do that? But this time, get the job done. Uh, let me know. Give me your comments and your thoughts down below.